Mister? Rickshaw? Hey, get it. showed you the address. <laughs> ah, so you're an illiterate. <laughs> I see him, sure, but that's all. <laughs> well, I'll tell you now. Tong Ching Tea House. Tong Ching Tea House? Huh? Well, why didn't you say that? Really? Some folks. Hey, no! No, don't. Forget it! Stolen heart. Local gang. And the bad news. Come on! <laughs> huh? Quickly! Quickly! in this town. Huh? And just what does that mean? <laughs> hey, catch, hey! Sit down, sit down. Hey, Good. Catch! Coming, coming! What the catch? Hey, hey, what's all this, huh? Why do you want to see Pong see you? Coming! I'm from his village. I come from Tinsir. Oh, uh, come this way. <laughs> hey, well, hey, let's go! It was in an alley, right near here, and, and, and they came. I saw two men. One was a loser, and one was a stranger. Both ran off. Hey, he's the one. Right. That's him. He came from Tianjin to see the boss. Huh. Well, now, you've a nerve. He comes here all the way from Tianjin, kills our boss, and then he has the nerve to walk in this place. Cut his heart out. The swine! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, no, wait! Listen, what is this? What have I done? You were looking for Fong Si Yu, right? Well, that's Fong Si Yu. That's Mr. Fong. 
Now stop pretending. It's no use now. Who's behind all this? I never dreamt that the man who was attacked was Foxy you. If it wasn't for that rickshaw man, we've had enough! Now listen, wasn't me. All right. I've no choice. teach you to bully strangers. See the killer's face? No. That him? Huh? <laughs> him? <laughs> he was sitting in my rickshaw. Couldn't be him. So, loser, I guess you know the penalty for lying to me. Of course. Wouldn't dare lie to you. But even if you kill me, there's nothing I can tell you. The man tells the truth. I wanted to go and stop the killer. But he wouldn't let me go, though. Held me back. Oh? You saw the killer? Only his back. And I couldn't see his victim's face. I know this. I'm gonna get that killer. Listen. I traveled a long way here, down from Tintin, to find an old compatriot, your boss, Mr. Fong. And now, he was murdered right in front of my eyes. As he was an old friend, I have a duty to perform, a duty to avenge his murder. And if I should fail in this duty, be like this cup. <laughs> Great!
this one here is an old friend of Fong's, Long A Lu. That's one of his escorts, Chang Fa Chun. This is Chu Chang Kui. He has a big business at the South Gate. This man is the companion of Madame Nine. These men work for Tong Chin Seng. His best man is one Ku Long, and the other Lo Fan. This one is the famous fighter, Yu Yu Tang. Brother. That's right. They say you want Feng Xiu's killer. That's right. This place is dangerous. You better leave here. A threat? No. Advice. But you are no friend of mine. I'm from Tianjin. What's your name? It's you. Yu Yu Tang. So you're the fighter I've heard so much about, Yu Yu Tang. <laughs> it seems I am well known. But look, this business of avenging Fong, it isn't your duty. Do you know anything about his murder? There is nothing I can tell you, except that advice I gave you. Keep out of it. <laughs> Mr. My name's Chang. I have a message to give you. Well then, what is it? Well, my boss, he wants to talk to you. Your boss? Yes, Longalu. Heard of him? Hmm. Please? didn't start it? Everybody saw that. Blame your men. Go to hell! Right? Right! Yeah. All right, all right. All of you, please 
stop this. Mr. Shim, I'm sorry. It's just a misunderstanding. These men here are too impulsive. I guess they all heard how good you fight, and they hope to learn from you. I was invited to come here to meet Mr. Lung. Now that I'm here, I'd like to see him. Please. <laughs> Here's my boss, Mr. Lung. Mr. Sean, welcome, welcome. Ah, Chan, you may go. Sir. Sit down. You're quite a special man. Really something. <laughs> and you've a special way. With your guests. <laughs> I hear you've sworn to catch Mr. Fong's murderer. That's right. As it should be. As it should be. Mr. Sean, I think we'll get on. And eventually, we'll become friends. And if there's anything at all I can do to help you, anything, then tell me. Not right now, but thank you. And if you do catch the killer, what do you intend to do with him, may I ask? I'm sorry, I don't get you. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. You could kill him. <laughs> Less likely, give him to the police. Though, why bother them? The country has laws. They should be obeyed. And I shall do that. Oh, you'd give him to the police then? Is that what you're saying? That's right. <laughs> not a very good idea. And why not? Mr. Sean, you're new here. You don't know what the local scene is. Mr. Fong's main income was gambling. And he had a whole lot of big casinos here. If the police investigated this, then because my operation was closely connected with his, I could be dragged into all this. <laughs> if you need help, like I said, you can use my men, all that you need. But if you do catch a man, I hope that you'll settle with him yourself. <laughs> nice and clean, and no loose ends left. Well, thanks for your advice. Goodbye. Now wait. <laughs> Mr. Sean, I hope you're going to be sensible now. We don't want any killers delivered alive. Goodbye. Uh, hello. You again? Yes. Yeah. Been waiting for you. Too dear. Huh? No charge. <laughs> I won't charge you. I promise. Hey, please get in. This is your... Why are you so stubborn?
Stupid. My apologies. I'm sorry. So it was you who sent them? Well, I'm sorry. I had to tie them up. <laughs> like to ride with me? Listen, just what is it you want? They tell me that you're after the murderer of Fong Si Yu. Yeah. I suspect someone. But I've no evidence, though. Who? Tung Chin Seng. Tung Chin Seng. But that man is very smart, so be careful. Hmm. Well, thanks very much. What's your name? Tu Suwa. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Mr. Chun, you better be careful with that woman. <laughs> it's you again. Hey, I've been chasing you. Of course it's me. Please get in. Hey. Mr. Sean. You're too dear, I told you. Right. As from now on, I'll take you anywhere free of charge. But why? Huh? It's just that I admire you. I simply want to help in any way I can. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Lua Lung stepped in, huh? Trying to stop you. That could be suspicious. But while I'm not clear what he's up to, for sure he's not the killer. Yu Yu Tang, he knows something. Hmm. Like you said, he won't talk. Do you know where he lives? He lives with that woman, Mrs. Nine. Mrs. Nine? Well, just who is she? She's not a respectable woman. She worked as a whore for many years. Made a big fortune. Now she's operating a few casinos here. Yu Yu Tang was her boyfriend and her bodyguard. Tell me, do you think this woman could be connected with the murder? Uh, I don't know. But if you're interested, why not go along and see her and talk to her? King can take you. But she's a tough case, so watch it. You know you Tang? Well, we're both from Tianjin, so at least we're kinsmen. Oh. How did you know that he lived here? <laughs> it's hardly a secret. You're right. Everybody knows that he lives with me. Well, since you're acquainted with him, then I may as well tell you. These few days, I've been looking all over Shanghai for him. We got on real well. But he left without saying a word. And I've no idea where he's gone. 
Well, well maybe he has some problems. Problems? Just a guess. I only met him the once. Oh. There's a man called Fong Si Yu. You know him? Well, I met him. A northern gentleman, I believe. He's just been murdered. I heard about it. Yu Tang seemed to know something about it. Uh, can't be. Those two had no quarrel. What's more, Yu Tang's no killer. He's gentle, doesn't like violence. You think it was him? No. What I meant was that he may know something. Possible. He gave me some advice. He told me, keep out of it. Did he say who the killer is? I think he knew, but wanted to protect you. Could bring you trouble. I mean, from the killer. If that's the case, he's very silly. If there's trouble, I want to help him. I'd do anything for him. Anything at all, he knows that. Tell me, that time, how was he? He seemed quite depressed. <sighs> that's very bad. Will you see him again? I'm not sure. Well, it's obvious. He's hiding from me. So, I'll just ask you to give him a message. Whatever the problem, I'll help him. And I'll be waiting for him. All right. I'll tell him, if I should see him again. Why did you come to Shanghai? To see Mr. Fong. You see, he was my kinsman. Oh. I'll see you. Mr. Shun, I didn't know Fong well. But Yu Tang told me that he was a very good man. So if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask for my help. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Go with him. Right. Are you Mr. Shun from Tianjin? They tell me that you're after Mr. Fong's murderer. That's right. There's someone that wants to talk to you. About what? The killer. <laughs> the killer of Mr. Fong. Right. Father, why hasn't you tank come? He said he was going to be here. Ah, it's all right. He'll be here. Hey, it's so fun. You'll soon be a grown woman, so it doesn't become you to behave like a child. <laughs> Mr. Tung, I'll go in. Yes. So, go inside. Hmm. My name's Tung, Tung Jinseng. Guess that you've heard of me. Most people have around here. I have. Hmm. Thought so, thought so. Sit, sit. Your investigations, how are they going? Now here, you've learned something. Ah, that's right. And that's why I invited you here. I'm hoping that you can help me. 
I'm a stranger. How could I help you? <laughs> I'm hoping that you'll act discreetly and that you'll take my advice. You'll help me in that way. <laughs> Today is my daughter's birthday. Please stay for a drink. What I just told you. Think it over. Now, please. Oh, well, now, Uncle, how are you? Oh, I, I came late. Hope you're not angry with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this young man. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a new friend of mine, Mr. Sean. <laughs> this is a well-known young lady about town, Miss Two. Come on. It's not true that I'm that well-known. And please don't call me Miss Two. Call me Sua. All right? My friend. You be careful. These young women, they need watching. Now, come on. <laughs> you stop that. <laughs> uh, well, come on. Let's go inside. Uh, my daughter, Safan. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, I'll introduce you. This is Mr. Shun. Oh, they're so pretty. I've always wanted some like this. But I couldn't find them. Thanks very much. Uh, right, let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tung, I hear there's a rumor. Mr. Fong was in fact killed by Liu Fong. Uh, we all know that Liu Fong is one of your best men and without orders. He would never do anything like that. Uh, do you believe that? <laughs> well, now, unless you can prove otherwise, everybody's gonna believe that. You're not a young man, but you're younger than me. So, <laughs> please show more respect. Mr. Tan, what are you saying? That when you're older, you're allowed to get away with anything? Mr. Tang, I must go. <laughs> Mr. Tang, I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I say the wrong... Oh, oh, oh. Someone's trying to frame me. Well, now, see what I mean when I said to act discreetly? That advice still holds. Mr. Tung, I agree, I must be careful. But I won't stop. I'll go on. All right. And you'll always be welcome here. Thank you. Goodbye. sent by Mr. Tung to protect you. God damn you, you bastard, you!
fortune tellers. It's you. Why are you creeping around? Uh, thought you were sleeping. <sighs> Just wish I could sleep. <sighs> Achan. Yes? I'll leave for a few days. Tomorrow you close down the business temporarily. Until I get back. Something wrong? Uh, never mind. Sure. Yeah. Do you think you can escape me by running away? <laughs> uh, now look. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me. Well, sir, what's your wish? Want your fortune? Know the future? Your prospects? Of marriage? Or death? I want a word analyzed. <laughs> the significance of the word done. Context. A man. Hmm. A man. Hmm. Not good. Not good. In some senses, done means finished. And taking that further, finished means to have come to an end. Ended, finished, expired. It seems this man has come to an end, expired. Done starts with D. D occurs twice in dead. So it seems... <laughs> well, sir. Ah, it doesn't look good. Seems that the man you're looking for is most probably dead now. I think you're wrong. He's not dead. <laughs> not to you to believe what you want. All right. The man I met, you know him. And he told me to come here. Why say he's dead? Huh? I simply analyzed it from that word you gave me. Hey, tell you what. If you don't believe what I've told you, then you don't have to pay for my advice. There's no charge. Well, I can ask you one more question, then, if it's free. Who's the killer? I don't know. Tell me. Huh? <laughs> well, now, a young man. Oh, very, very good. Ah, hey. Uh, hey, uh, let's talk, not fight. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Oh. Come on. Oh. Let's hear you talk, then. Oh. Who's behind this? I, I don't know. I don't know. Who are you? The chief of his group, Tong Pao. Well, now you're here. Tell me, who killed that messenger? You want to know? Right. Tong Cheng Seng. You're wrong. Tong was at home. It couldn't have been him. <laughs> the whole performance was meant for your benefit. Tong and his men arranged it. Why should Tong want to kill your men? To fool you. Don't follow that. Well, in our view, Tong is the prime suspect in the murder of Fang, but we're still looking for the proof of that. 
What kind of proof? Huh. Not sure yet, but we're worried about you, though. What do you mean? You may die. It doesn't add up. If he wanted, I'd be dead. Why go through all this performance? <laughs> the show is for the others, and not for you. Right now, most people in this place know you're trying to track down the murder of your kinsman, Mr. Fong. So he can't afford for you to die yet. Lay a false trail, and then kill you. Well, since you know that it was Tung who murdered your messenger, why don't you take some action? <laughs> Before we act, we must get proof. Is it you're afraid of something? The main thing is to prove Tong's involvement in Mr. Fong's murder. Well, now, you sent a message that you wanted to see me. What for? Well, if you want what we do, we're hoping you'll work with us and that you'll stay real close to Tong. In short, be our agent. I'll only do what I want to do. At least, in the last analysis, we're both after the same thing. That's Fong's killer. How can I contact you? You don't. We'll contact you. Listen, Mr. Tong is a very sharp and a very devious man. You be careful. Hmm. I will. Madam. Already? Of course it is. It's a small thing. Hmm. And I'm taking part. Keep my hand in. Hmm. Tell me. What do you think of this man, Chun? Pretty good. Madam, you're getting fond of him. Now look, you promised me, though. Have you forgotten? <laughs> Silly boy, as if I'd forget. But Chun's a good fighter, and I may need him. Madam, he's dangerous. That's a fact you should bear in mind. You mean he could beat me? <laughs> Yes. Oh. Yes? <gasps> but where? Right away. Hmm. You tang. This time, let's see you get away. Master Fong never had dealings with Tong, as far as I know. Never mentioned anything? No, and it's not really likely that somebody in Fong's position would have occasion to come into contact with Tong in any way. <laughs> Mr. Tong seems fairly relaxed. Mm. My friend, you don't know these people. A man's position here is all he really cares about. Come in. What is it? Uh, a letter's arrived. It's for Mr. Shun. Show me. Mr. Yu? Mr. Yu? Mr. Yu? 
Mr. Yu? Where's you? When I arrived, I found you lying at the entrance. Uh, didn't see you, Tang. But I saw his body. It was in there. Uh, Mr. Shun, you must have had a bad dream. Come on, you rest now. You're exhausted. I quite like you, you know. <sighs> Sorry, I must go. First, rest a while. Why kill him there, and who did it? There's another suspect to consider. Who? Me. I'm sure people suspect me. They think I was jealous of Fong. And that's why I killed him. And I've no doubt that people have mentioned this to you. You don't believe it. You may not. But others will. But if you're innocent, why care what the others think? Easy to say. But still, in our line of work, reputation's everything. And I have to prove that my hands are clean in this. What will you do? When Fong's murder is finally caught, I shall dismiss all the men and close the business down. After that, I'll go and retire in the tea house. Maybe your enemy wants just that. You'll be playing into their hands. But I've made up my mind. Mr. Shun, Mr. Tung's car is waiting. Oh. Tung's daughter wants me to take her to the theater. She's a difficult girl, always has been. You be careful, huh? Ah, yes, it's a young people's world now. What is it? <laughs> it's urgent. <laughs> <laughs> the girl. Who are you? I'm Liu Fong. We just received a message. Someone's after Miss Tong. Mr. Tong sent us. My God. Let's get back. That's strange. Hey, mister. This is for you. Fun. Someone's taken the girl. Tell Tom. Right. Mr. 
Mr. Soon. We're after Mr. Tong. Well, I represent him in this. Right. One, Tung must first publicly admit that his men killed Feng Siyu. Two, we want the killer. I'll pass it on. But first, I want to see the girl. You can't. Now listen, no. you've been tricked. Yeah. What? They don't have the girl, and they never did. All right, where is she? <laughs> all this. That's all we know. <laughs> now look. What's been going on? All right. This time, you've been too smart. Huh? Listen, you. My father tried to help you. But you had me kidnapped. Then let go. But why? What's the idea? Your father knows more about that than I do. You lie! So far, back upstairs. <laughs> I really should have known it. That you were the one behind these killings. It's funny. I respected you. It's difficult to believe that you're that sort of killer. Uh, now look, just you relax. I'm relaxed. Complete this. End tyranny. Uh, in our country? So you... <laughs> I'm Agent 7, sent here by HQ. Chief of Southern Network. And I've just had a report in that you're one of us and that you'd be contacting me. Welcome. Fong is my senior assistant in this area. I'm very sorry for what I said. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Fong was our controller here, but this, you know. Listen, I'm not clear. What happened tonight? <sighs> well, nor am I. Sao Fan was certainly kidnapped, but as soon as Liu Fong left the house, she was suddenly delivered back here. Miss Tung know any of the men? Uh, all she knows is how to enjoy herself. She's no interest in anything else. You see, the Japs are smuggling in goods of various types. And we've been trying to find out who's controlling them here. And I'm sure those killings are related. Well, who do you suspect? The main suspects left at Tu Chang Kui and Madame Nine. Who's Tu Chang Kui? He's Tu Suwa's brother. And Madame Nine's just a woman. It's hard to believe she could be behind all this. Well, then we better make a start with Tu Chang Kui. Right. Now then, you talk to his sister first. Who knows, you may just get some information there. Yu Fang, take care of Tung Pao. Right. Listen, unless there's no choice, I don't want any more killings. Mm. Liu Fang. No matter what you come up with, you must meet me in the park at dawn. Right. to see you. Mm. You go on. Right.
Please tell Madam Nine that I've arrived. So it's Mr. Shearn. What do you want? Your mistress asked me here. <laughs> Not likely. I mean, why should my mistress want to see a killer like you? And just what does that mean? Stop pretending. You know what. <laughs> Explain what you mean. I mean, you're going to pay for having killed my brother Chang. Die. They say he was killed. Who did it? I don't know. Hmm. It was you. <laughs> you got proof? Bring our cannon here. Right, right. I thought you were Yu Tang's friend, and therefore my friend. But you planned with him to take over our business. You also arranged with him to murder Chang. Now, Ken, I've done nothing to you. Why'd you do this? Well, tell me. You've cut the poor swine's vocal cords. <laughs> now listen, take it easy. You see, we had to test you. Test for what? <laughs> you see, although he accused you, I didn't believe him. I don't know why, after all. It could be true. Hmm. Hmm. Well, with your intelligence and fighting skills, I'm sure you'd aim higher than that. <laughs> anyway, we have a deal for you. You take over here and run the place from now on. The terms? You pick your business freehand. You do what you want. And we supply the goods. The profit splits two ways. Guarantees? <laughs> My good name is enough as guarantee. <laughs> no, thanks. I'll see you. Now hold it. Don't be rash. <laughs>
Lu Fang. I want Tong Pia back. And who are you? Someone who wants to try you and see what you're like with an axe. Quite a man. Hmm. Strange. Why isn't Lu Fang here? Fang, what happened? Got himself trapped by Zhong Piao. Well, I'll get him. No! 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 Uh -huh. Don't stop him. Let him go. important to tell you. What is it? Ah, Tung Miao's vanished. Huh? He went out last night, but he never came back, though. Uh, 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 they found Tung Miao. Ah, where is he? He's in the river. Knocked off by Liu Fang. What? She said, You'll pay for this. I promise. Oh, Jin Zhang. You had my sister killed. Zhu Jinghui, before you accuse a man, get your facts straight. <laughs> you stole my goods, killed my sister. Isn't that true? I'll tell you, those things have happened because you were too greedy, too confident, 
So then, somebody decided to slap you down. But still, I can tell you this. Those things were not my doing. Hmm. So you say. But I still don't believe you. I hold you responsible. And you'll pay for it. Shed, see Mr. Tong. I'll be at Madame Nine's. Right, I will.
<laughs> well, now, welcome. I hear you have my daughter here. And you've come to get her back? Why'd you kidnap her? Don't get it. Would you explain? <laughs> I want to discuss business. I'm getting to be quite old. And all that I'm really interested in now is retiring. Hmm. But you're a real busybody, though. Each business has its rules. As long as you keep them, no one will interfere with you. Business rules? I only know my business has to make money. Anyone who interferes with that gets killed. <laughs> and that's just why I had to interfere. <laughs> All you have to do is keep up, and a great deal of money will then land in your lap at no effort to you. <laughs> Any money I take must be clean. Sorry. Excuse me. Hold it. Have you forgotten that I'm still holding your daughter? I cannot sacrifice my honor, no matter what, even her life. Hmm. Uh, 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 I'll give you an idea of what I'm like. You'll see I mean business. I don't think you realize what I'm capable of. I'll see. I want you to cut off one of her arms. Right, right. Ah!
Finished you off. You came. You're not dead yet. I have many lives. who killed Fong. Hmm. Now it seems it's your turn. It seems that you're finished. <laughs> Hi, 
Maybe take over this place here? I have nothing to say. To a traitor? You're wrong, because I'm not a Chinese. Huh? You see, I'm a Japanese agent. Uh, now look, a wise man knows when he's beat. You just let me go, and then, when the Japanese do take over China, I promise that you'll be well rewarded. You're mad. <laughs>你交出来吧，哼！天下没有我们西厂不知道的秘密。你们替高玉堂联络跑腿，暗中收集了一些不利本厂提督汪大人的罪证，我们不会让他外泄。我跟他别着急为了。嗯。哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！
，我帮高人按住，以示明醒。哎兄早到了，朋友相约，所谓何事？受人之托，忠人之事。龙梁夫妇，你可认识？古兄若信得过在下，三日之后天门瀑布，自有分晓。好，一言为定。杀人见无影，飘香欲素彻，果然名不虚传。妾身在此久候多时，公子有何见教？若能邀姑娘两日后，一驾天门瀑布，则属雷某之幸。公子这么说，妾身倒真难以推辞。那姑娘天门瀑布会面。厉害的勾魂犯，在下不情之请，有劳姑娘明日天门瀑布一行。哟，好一个玉树临风，一表人才。在下诚心相约，苟得首肯，无人敢怀。公子的意思是？龙梁夫妇交托。公子爷，您忙，那就明日见了。会呀，难得一见江湖艺人，白马、素车，都到，勾魂丹。在下雷震天，剑、嗯、掌双绝。嗯，数日前雷某途径。将临死再三托付，此函务必交与三位。我已经决定了，大人，不必多讲。上路吧，汪直汪大人
，把持朝政多年，胜杀愈多，文武大臣无人敢出一言。此番，特遣本座正义。哼，可恨高玉堂，竟敢勾结匪类，与本座作对。看样子，不施点手腕，他是不知道本座的厉害。嗯，刁云成，在，你素指高玉堂处。这是我和商洛商大人费尽了九牛二虎之力，所收集到有关汪直不法的罪证，可恶的恶见欺上余下之语，竟晚心生意志。今越界蒙藩帮，篡位自立，若其得逞，哎，这又将战祸连连，生灵涂炭。烦请神州大侠，务必将之送到灵山山吏们，教育武林三起。高大人在朝忠直不二，下野仍耿心国事，实在令人敬服。在下自当舍命以赴。为了除去汪直的祸害，造福朝野，老朽唯有鞠躬尽瘁。高大人，高大人，你这是何苦啊？西厂爪牙，无孔不入，他们迟早定真此事，找上老朽，老朽，为师大侠，无后顾之忧。因此之故，我我有了断自己。快快走！此等候，神州一见送来汪直密谋篡位之计划书，再汇合商大人手上那份，汪直勾结藩帮之罪证，然后送至京城。有幸得见武林三起，这项有礼了。你是什么人？大丈夫行不改名，坐不改姓，只可笑我神州一剑为人奔波卖命，竟仍见疑于人。恶剑太乙诡诈，不得不尔，万物见怪。不然不然，姿势体大，是该如此。请谷大侠收下，等望审慎收藏。天老了。啊，不知三位下一步是作何打算？呃，我们也正在商议中，还未做决定。哼，既然三位仍是建议，我也不多打搅，一路顺风。害人之心不可有，防人之心不可无
朋友是哪条道上的？哼，就是这条道上。拿来，拿什么？不必装了。就是你要见我们洪公公，他，哼，别发横，你做不了主。去招摇，太无王法了！慢着，此人乃神州一剑，临终前托小的交遗物与公公，谁知竟如此？那我还是把他交给官府的好。慢着，好好把话说清楚。本座不会亏待你，真的。嗯，就是这个。坐看看，拿银两来。是就足够了，那个我销售不起。嘿，手下大人去拦住他。嗯，没有三分三，不敢上泰山。你对付不了他。就有安排。此去儋州，水旱两路。<笑>我叫你们插翅难飞。
们靠在此地。二等头交代的，高公子得罪了。逃不过洪公公的神机妙算。能逃过我的满天星。欺负商大人家，启禀公公，二党头到，叫他进来。是。启禀公公，东西到手了。何闯得出我这天罗地网？汉路本座早有安排，你火速多带人马追上水路。尊驾请留步。<咳>在下雷震天，西前竹林。蒙尊驾按住，雷某仅此谢过。霍无病，路过而为，愧不敢当。霍无病，敢莫是拳脚傲天下的霍大侠？<咳>霍某百病缠身，符号虚名，不提也罢。名家风范，心以久矣。今朝相见，堪为平生。可否一驾同行，把酒畅叙？高山流水，知音难寻，得叫英雄好汉，本属快事。只可惜霍某身染重疾，无心为此。<笑>此乃疗伤圣品，功能补气养身，老病无救。年老费心，这若无他事，就此别过。霍大侠何以这般拒人于千里之外呢？
雷朋友言重了，世事难测，今番论教，焉知他日相见是何景象？况乎相交，又岂在形式？高人高语，公公，人已经带来了。把他留下。哎，是。嗯，这三番两次密件都是假的。你有什么想法？属下认为，这件密函事关重大，万一泄露，那后果不堪设想。嗯，所以属下认为。绝不能放过任何可疑有关的人。嗯，正合武艺。宁可错杀一万，也不可放过万一。是。姑娘想吃点什么？素面一碗，买几点下酒的好菜，再来四两女儿红。嗯，嗯，嗯，哎，是是是，马上来，马上来。哼，喝酒又不犯丧，有什么关系啊？姑娘说的是。江湖儿女本不应拘泥小节，而且喝点酒，岂不是更来劲儿吗？哎，姑娘，两位在路上，想必辛苦又寂寞，我们哥们几个为你解解闷儿啊。那倒要看看三位。够不够分量？竹氏三霸，可还合姑娘的意
伤了，威风也出足了，咱们该办点正经事了。是您，长白孤影老前辈。不错。您不在关外纳福，怎么有这么大的精神跑到这儿来了？洪公公重金相聘，说不得也只有走上这一招了。老前辈，这一下。您可当官了，拿来，拿什么？你心里明白。老前辈，拿去，您能用吗？嗯。哎，哎呦，您老年纪一大把了，火气还这么大，旁人看见了多不好啊！还以为您老欺负我弱女子呢，那倒不见得。嗯，哟，江南浪子，你也来了，洪公公好大的神通啊！这一北一南，一老一少，武林名宿，江湖新秀，可全都现身在这个小酒馆里了。<笑>那还不是姑娘你牵的线啊！我难道不是吗？嗯，<笑>别不好意思了，莫非要我当众为你宽衣？嗯，哟，公子，说笑也不挑在这个时候啊。是吗？东西快拿出来，咱们还有时间可以叙叙。<笑>你想找死？拿人钱财，与人消灾，谈不上死不死。嘿。
出来吧，我没有时间跟你们磨蹭。无情风，霜刀飞白马，古星雪，西厂洪公公的大党头，素来神龙见首不见尾，不过二党头嘛，呵呵倒是久仰。哈哈哈哈哈！看样子无情霜刀并非像传闻中那样无情啊。哼，聪明人不做傻事，我不忍见你暴毙荒野，没人收尸。拿来吧。呵呵二党头过滤了，何必杞人忧天呢？我想西厂未必会来收你的事我的满天星，你也活不了多久。这个大概能够发个小财呀、啊。嗯？什么地方得来的？这实话实说。我是在……人在哪儿？现在还在我家。叫他帮您办点事儿，其实不应该呀、啊。不过最近小的手头，只要您以后有事找我的话，没有以后。哎哎，坐，哎哎，坐，哎，哎，大爷，大爷。想不到西厂势力如此庞大，武林黑白两道，多为其收买。据闻那大二党头，更是赫赫有名。二党头日月星轮，已是难惹至极。那大党头冷血神龙，武功诡异，飘忽不定，性情冷酷，下手狠毒。江湖中只闻其名，而不见其人。希望谷大哥没遇上他们，否则可就麻烦了。那白马狂妄自大，杀杀他的威风，倒也应该。只不过，此番任务艰辛，希望他一路平安无事。
，这不是二党他的满天星吗？哈哈哈哈！小兄弟，不必紧张，我丝毫没有动过。小兄弟，不知何人如此狠毒，将你伤得那么重。汝不便启齿，就不必说了。在下，江雨涵。啊，古心血，多谢江兄。小兄弟，若没有什么要事，不妨多休息两天。江兄，我乃我身负重任，不得久留。不知小兄弟。急于赶往何处？在下是否能够代劳替你走一趟？江兄好意，心领了。因为此去与朋友有约在先。既然如此，我就陪你一程，也好有个照应。这，你我虽然是萍水相逢，出门在外，难免有点意外。小兄弟，你就不必客气了。你的身体实在不宜如此的赶路，难道此月真的如此重要？岂止重要，事关社稷安危，百姓生灵。我，哎，真是英雄出少年，想必与小兄弟相约的志士们，哈、啊，我只是推测。不过，是否有机会让在下共享盛举？小女子过去。三位大爷，小女子实在有效在身，急于奔丧。奔丧？<笑>死了什么人？是小女子丈夫。哦，<笑>哪有什么好难过的？死了，再嫁一个不就结了吗？啊，<笑>是啊。<笑>来来来，陪大爷们乐一乐，哎，对，乐一乐吧，来来来，来来，放手。哎，没事没事，来来，管他呢，别放心嘛。嗯。啊。多谢公子搭救。小女子不情之请，即赴儋州奔丧，不知公子可是顺道？老爷，我这也是逼不得已。此番前去进士，徒必险恶，我是不愿连累而挡。不管你怎么说
我生是商家的人，死也是商家的鬼，我绝不走。夫人，嗯，大人，难道说就不能请人代为？事关国家安危，安可庆父？更何况此事非我不成，只恨恶见心怀不轨，勾结翻谤。我就是死了，也断不会让他们得逞的。夫人，你快走吧。不，莫非你要逼我写下休书吗？先救你，你怎么反而恩将仇报？谁注视你的？不说，没关系。你不仁，我就不义。我一刀一刀的割，你总会说的。只不过可惜了你这张脸。没想到你比西厂。哦，是西厂。洪公公也太低估我了，那大二党头一起来还勉强，凭你，留你一命转告洪公公，叫他安分点，否则下次见面，我要的不是银两，而将是他井上人头，滚吧。又在巧遇，是乃有缘。不知霍兄贵体可曾稍遇？有缘无缘，必遇不遇，何差之有？人生短暂，如白驹过隙，终归一赔黄土。霍兄正值壮年，怎生这般生意渺无<咳>？雷朋友，你少自高，自该珍惜有用之身，大事作为。霍兄差矣。前已若非霍兄高义暗助，雷某焉得有命？那只是不虑为之，你不必耿怀于心。不，受人点滴，当永明心头。若有助力之处，霍兄一言，万死不辞。雷朋友慎言，江湖中人手中信义，贸然轻诺，或将会之终身。霍兄此言是有感而发。总之一言，你我之间了无恩怨牵挂，再相逢，或成陌路。你好自为之
，小兄弟，你先进去，我跟朋友打个招呼就来。对不起啊，喂，我来晚了，实在是路上多有耽搁。事情办成了吗？我真想回西厂向洪公公禀报。是吗？你走的是回西厂的路吗？我。别再瞒我了，看你的神色，我就料定了七八分。啊，我是不慎失手的。然后就想逃命？不，不，我,我是想我，不必多说了。失败的结果，你应该知道。嗯、真是没想到，你们也是多遭惊险。西厂的势力是太庞大，谁说不是呢？这位就是我说的江雨涵，江大侠。<笑>这两位是啊，我姓白，他姓水，江大侠，请坐。水姑娘，白姑娘，小二，快添副碗筷。哎，我来。刚听说您仗义救了我们古兄。<笑>是啊，多亏江兄搭救，不然。哈哈哈哈，举手之劳，我向小兄弟言过其实了。<笑>水酒一杯，略表谢意。<笑>听小兄弟说，三位这次是为国事奔波，不辞辛劳生死，是叫在下好生佩服。仅此借花献佛，<笑>不敢不敢。换奸弄权，名声日凋，我早有此心，只是欲进无门。若三位肯引荐，我实验随父即位，一笑绵薄。江兄太客气了，我等。<笑>我或言过唐突，实有诚心。要不然，此番这事就让我一试，以明心机，如何？这个。江兄说的对，明日一早还要赶路，大伙还是回房休息吧。库<笑>卡大师远道而来，辛苦辛苦，干，干！咱家国师久候不难，特派咱家。来看看究竟。大师别急，我们公公也正极力部署，只待部署周详，我们就可以共谋成事。哦，不过咱家听说，好像有什么武林三奇跟你们作对。哼，一群不知好歹的东西。利米眼光，也妄想用皓月整会。哼，不出几天，我就叫他们死无葬身之地。有机会，咱家倒想见识一下，中原武林有些什么人物。好，咱们干一杯。
应该深夜谋刺红公主，不用吓人。我既然来了，就没想要活着出去，还不快给我拿下！是。说，是什么人派你来的？好狗贼，你还装糊涂！你逼死我家高大人，我忍辱偷生至今，就是要等这个机会。拿命来！姑娘夜访，可有要事？嗯，哎呦，鬼鬼祟祟的，可把人家给吓了一大跳。哼，对不起，惊吓了姑娘。你刚才上哪儿去了？人家本来想过来跟你聊聊天的，谁知道？哦，房内气闷，我出去散了会儿步。这么晚了，又是夜路深重，谁知道你是去幽会呢，还是去通报消息啊？啊。哈哈，姑娘说笑了，请坐，我给姑娘沏杯茶。哎，不用了，这么晚了，还留人家在这儿喝茶，也不怕人家说闲话。啊，呃，姑娘教训的是，那人家回去了。姑娘好走。之命，古心血，白玉香，水玲珑，特前来物件商大人。哦，啊，老朽苦候多时了，哎，请，请。啊，这位是江雨涵，江兄，请，请。哎，你，你，江兄，你，小兄弟，你挡住他们，我先回去。洪公公面见，我自会听你美言。你这狼心狗肺的东西，没想到你串通了他。这，我。怎么又是你？你到底是干什么？放着大事不做。却在此地闹起内讧，难道你们忘了此行的任务？你，别管我是谁了，这到底是怎么回事？我，商大人被劫了。什么？商大人被劫走了？走。托<咳>公公洪府，乱党商落已然旧情待告。嗯，见了公公还不下跪？不得对商大人无礼。是。商大人，请坐。不要假仁假义，你这个狗奸贼！<笑>商大人，你与汪大人同朝为官，相素和睦。闭上你的狗嘴！王军欺君罔上，玩弄权术，只搅得国力日衰，民生凋敝。今又新民意志，图谋篡位，我大明江山眼看就要掉在你们这一批奸猾的手里。商大人。聪明人就该知道识时务、通权变
。哎，你这又何必？无耻！我恨不得生吞你的肉！哼，不识时务。今天好歹你得告诉我，东西在什么地方？呸！你做梦！哼哼，怎么？你以为本座没有办法对付你？我就是死了，也不会让你称心如意的。哎，西厂心狠手辣，简直以酷刑。商大人恐怕……不管怎么样，我们一定要救出商大人。姑娘说的不错，可是西厂戒备森严，我们如何能进得了救人？那我们也不能就此罢手啊。这才是真秘籍。那是高大人的安排。神州一见及我义弟带的是假的，借此引开西厂的注意。嗯，那你是？高大人是嘉义父，我本旅游关外，遣此义父为对付汪贼，特召我回来。原本一切计划妥当，孰知如今商大人郁结。又在节外生枝，西厂想必布下天罗地网，此行一去，生死难卜。这个，你们拿去。救、就、商、是、大人只有一条路，我拼命死缠住洪公公，以便让你们趁隙救人。那怎么成？要死就死在一块儿。两位，我绝不能让你一个人孤身涉险。我也是。难道你们不想救出商大人？此计不是逞强义气的时候，一切应以国事为重。那一切偏劳姑娘。你们就先行进京。他妈的，这个家伙骨头还真硬，醒了半天他一句话也不说。他还是不招。是。哼，他不招也无妨。公公何不把他杀了，一了百了？你懂什么？有伤落在我们手里，哼，不怕他们不自投罗网。
交给你们，我回去助雷兄一臂之力。我跟你去。啊大家来也！哼！雷兄，士气已沉，快走！啊！不要追了，商大人。商大人到底怎么样了？毙了我一夜，可是我什么也没有说啊，商大人。他们一辈子也不会想到，我会将字刺在背上。贼的不法罪证，教育文革大学士，我之恨，不得省奸奸贼。一定会为你完成一致的。哼，没用的东西。嗯，哼。不过，这样也好。他们拖了一个半死的人，走不快。此去京都，狼牙口是必经之处。哼哼，也好让我来个一网打尽。你快去准备准备，若是再无事，提你的头来见我。是。嘿，好啊，这下子咱家可以大开杀戒了。哈哈哈哈哈！调集人马，即刻出发。禀公公，人马齐备，待命出发。嗯
，狼牙口固然是入境必经之道，可是风林口也不可疏忽。公公说的是，呃，只是武林三奇，再加上雷震天，实力强大。我们若再分散人手嘛，呃，恐怕怕什么？本座还有杀手锏没有使出来，通知霍无病，要他守住风林口。是。我是西厂，西厂又怎么样？嗯，哎，大侠，误会了，奉洪公公之命，呃，特西来御福啊。啊，洪公公之命，御福呢？哎，那那好，哎，啊。四川他们也不会如此、啊。不让你尝尝他们的烂气，你是不知道天高地厚的一生，向不欠人。玉夫一指，若得相招，身自以赴。洪公公意欲何为？洪公公有令，樊老大侠守住风林口。不许任何人通过。回去转告洪大伟，放心。霍某言出必随。待此桩事了，前情一笔勾销。啊，是，是。也罢，了此恩怨，任时间。末路，霍母今为报洪道伟之恩，风林口自此断绝。尔等改道他行吧。洪道伟，那不是洪公公吗？他是谁？
，或无病，霍大侠。哼，我才不管他有病无病的，你凭什么拦道不许人过？啊，原来是打劫的强盗啊！哼，可惜碰到你姑奶奶是打劫的煞星。好。非我敌手，折回去吧。哼，蝼蚁尚且偷身，你这是何苦呢？一之所在，无生于死。金雷某死不足惜，只叹霍大侠好武无德。霍无病身凭恩怨无欠，从不疑人化疑，那随则进犯，又作何解？前已说过。报红刀为之恩，以作了结。难道国家就无恩于霍大侠，百姓同胞就无恩于霍大侠？是啊。更何况西厂残虐不忍，上欺朝廷，下压百姓，穆汪直逆患，勾结藩帮，坏我大明江山。难道不要说了？一切恩怨，一五牵挂，舍、嗯、私救公，智者之为；体面众生，仁者之为；当机立断，勇者之为。这。奸谋，却又非过不可。只望尔等待寻红道为，侯兵无悔所诺，甚至是封林口无人得约雷池一步。霍、嗯啊、大侠，霍大侠，你安心去吧，雷某一定替你了此心愿。十面埋伏，机关重重。你这一去，岂不是羊入虎口？哎，霍大侠义薄云天，一死以全我等。此行纵会必死，我也一定得去。
不想知道，雷某何以单身来此？说。雷某。素不习惯在人胁迫下说话。到了这儿，你插翅难飞，不说也得说。哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！告诉你，霍大侠托我。哼，混账东西，他竟敢食言背信！先别急，你这辈子坏事做绝，唯一做对的就是交了霍大侠这么一个诚意忠信的朋友。霍大侠独守信诺，他生前我等无一得月，风林口一步。然霍大侠明辨是非，人心忠义，他不愿毁诺，又不愿设计百姓败坏在你们这般奸宦手中，所以自裁而亡。他该死！为了替霍大侠了愿，特来传讯。今该与你恩怨无欠，亦无瓜葛。霍大侠。你该安心瞑目了。嗯，他不识大体时务，本座却不能放过你。啊啊啊觉得博大精深，不是你所能了解的
上金足够了，我赶过来，就算下黄泉也好做个伴。结结账。Hey, hey, hey. 